Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video from the news playlist. In this video, we're going to create the home view model, the article card, and the shimmer effect for the article card. So first of all, let's create a new package inside the presentation layer called this home. And inside this home package, let's create the view model and call this home view model. In here, we're just gonna set up this view model real quick. So we're gonna extend it from view model. We wanna use the held view model annotation. And in here, we want to inject the use cases for this in use use cases. Uh, we have not provided that yet. So I'm going to create a new data class as we did in the app into use cases. That data class will be a wrapper for all the news cases we have in this package. So let's call this news use cases. And in here, we're going to have get news use case. And then we're going to go to the DI module to provide that one. So inside here, we can say provide singleton. I've already explained that. And here we want to provide the news use cases. And we want to return that news use cases. So in here, we can say return news use cases. And for the get news, we can just create new object for this use case. And since we want the news repository, we also want to provide that in here. And this is going to be singleton. Let's call this provide a news repository. And we're going to return news repository. Let's make this news repository implementation. And for this one, we also want the news API. So we want to provide that in here. And finally, we're going to create our retrofit instance now. So let's say write singleton function provide news API. And in here, we want to turn news API and we just want to return retrofit dot builder and let's add the base url so let's go to the constants file and here i'm going to create constant val base url this is the base url of our api and now let's get back to the app module to add that base url and we want to add a JSON converter to convert the JSON response we get from the API to a Kotlin object. We can just use add converter factory. And here we want to pass JSON converter factory. And we want to create an object out of that. And here we can call build. Then we can call create. And we want to create our new API. So that's it for this one. Now we can just get an instance in here. We can say news API, we can pass that in here. And same thing, we want to get an instance from this repository and pass it to our use case. So news repository. This one, we want the abstract interface and we can pass it in here. Okay, now we can get back to the view model to inject that data class. So inject, we want to inject the constructor, private val, news use cases. And let's import that. So this view model is going to be a very simple one. We are going to have the news in here and we're gonna call news use cases. And we're gonna call get news. Here we wanna pass the sources. So I will just pass list of. And here I wanna just identify the news sources. I got that from the documentation of this API. So these are some of the sources. Let's pass ABC News. Let's pass Al Jazeera English. Now we want to make sure to save this from configuration changes, and we can do that by say cached in view model scope. So that's it for this view model. Now let's go ahead and create the article card. So inside the common package here, inside the presentation common package. Let's create a new composable function or file and call this article card. And let's create a composable function called article card. So for this article card, we want to have the modifier, which is a modifier. Let's add a default value for this one. We want to have the article and we want to have only click listener. And now, as you can see, this is the card article we're going to design. So let's actually start doing that. We can just start with a row and we can add default modifier here. We can make this clickable and call only click on here. I have made a typo here, so I'm gonna just correct that and let me call only click in here. OK, 
okay now we wanted to play the image we can use coil library for that and they have a function called a composable function called async image in here we just gonna define the model and we're gonna do that by creating an image request called builder and for this one we want the context so we are going to get that in here and let's pass the context then we want to add the url of the image we can do that by the data function in here we pass the article dot url to image then we can call build on that now for the content description i'm gonna pass null and let's add a modifier here i'm going to add the size and for the size here i'm going to go to the diamonds a value here called article card size and let's make this 96 db now i want to copy this get back to the article card we can pass that in here and we also want to clip this and we can use material theme dot chips we can pass medium now to preview how this looks like let's actually create a preview function here and call this article card preview and i'm gonna add show background to true and i'm also gonna make another one for the night mode ui mode ui mode night yes let's import that then i'm gonna call the material theme function use app theme and then we can call the article card to preview that so for the article i'm gonna create a fake data here so as you can see i have added this object now let's go to the split mode to see our card how it looks like okay so here's the card now let's keep on and let's actually create a column here for the text i'm going to add vertical arrangement space around and i also going to add a modifier to add a padding horizontally and i'm gonna call extra small padding we're gonna create that now and let's go to the diamonds file i'm gonna create the same value here and this is going to be 3 db let's get back here let's import that and in here we also want to add the height of this column and this is going to be the same as the article card size okay now inside this column we are going to have our text the title so let's do that i'm going to create a text here for the text is going to be article the title for the style material theme dot body medium for the color color resource r dot color dot text title let's import r in here and and we want to have max lines to two then if we have an overflow text then we show ellipses so text overflow ellipses and let's see how that's going to look like now let's refresh this preview and here you go now we want to create now we want to create the last section which is now we want to create the last section that comes below this title we want to arrange that using a row so inside the so inside this column let's have a row in this row we want to have vertical arrangement to center vertically and inside here we want to have a text or we can just copy this one and paste it here then we want to just show the source the name of that source and for the style label medium we want to change the font weight here so let's call copy font weight we want to make this bold and for the color we want to make this body now we can just delete these two extra fields we don't want them and i'm gonna arrange that then let's have a spacer modifier dot width extra small padding 2 we want to create this one so let's go to the diamonds file here and let's give this 6 db get back let's import it and let me correct this modifier and let's import that then we want to have the time icon and that is the icon time on the description let's pass null we want to pass a modifier to give the size of this one a small icon size let's go ahead and create this one and let's give this 11 db 
get back here and import that and finally we want to add the color of that icon and we can just use color resource r.color.body now let's copy this spacer paste it below this icon and we want to have another text here just the same one as this one and we are going to show the publish add value and that's it for this card let's preview it so here you go this is how it looks like now we want to create the shimmer loading effect so as you can see now this is what i mean by the shimmer effect it's a nice animation that used in most apps nowadays so let's actually go to the common package here and create file called this shimmer effect and then here we're going to create a custom modifier just to make this reusable across any composable function let's call modifier we're going to create an extension function of that shimmer effect and let's make this composed so this is how we just create a custom modifier and to do that we want to basically animate the alpha value of the background so we can do that by having transition object we can say remember infinite transition in finite transition and in here we can just animate the alpha value as i said and we can use transition dot animate float so for the initial value this is going to be 0.2f for the target value 0.9f for the animation spec i'm gonna define infinite re repeatable so that means uh this animation will not stop so in here we need to pass the animation which is just a tween and for the duration we can just make this one second now we want to pass the repeat mode and we can this and we can make this reverse now we can call value on this state and then we can just apply a background for this modifier and the color here will be color resource r dot color dot shimmer uh, we want to import r so let's call it shimmer and we want to change the alpha value of this uh, background color we can call copy alpha we can pass the alpha value we get from our, from our transition effect now that's it for the shimmer effect we can actually call that on any other composable function and let's actually create another composable function here called article card shimmer effect and in here we're gonna have a modifier and inside here we're gonna just create the same the same one here but we don't need to show any text or any image we're just gonna show some boxes with uh, the shimmer effect so let's actually have a row or we can just come here copy all of this and we can go to that function paste that in here now let's remove this clickable instead of this async image we want to have a box we want to delete this extra field and we want to call shimmer effect on that for this text we want to replace it by a box so here box and or we can just copy this one paste it down here we're gonna add fill max width height of uh, 30 db we want to remove the size uh, we don't have this clip and we want to add padding here horizontal and make this medium padding one let's import that and now inside this row let's actually remove everything and we are going to have only one box so i'm going to copy this one and paste it in here but fill max width we want to make this 0.5f and for the height i want to make this 15 db so that's it for our shimmer effect actually let's make a preview function to see that and i'm going to call this article card shimmer effect preview let's call our news app theme and then we can just call our article card shimmer effect and let's show the background and let's also create the night mode now let's see the split mode then launch the emulator for this preview function okay let's just click on this icon to launch the emulator to preview that in the emulator and as you can see this is the shimmer effect and if we just switch to the night mode and here's the night mode of this shimmer effect
Okay guys, so that was all I wanted to show you for this video. Um, in the next video, we will finish the home screen completely and then we're gonna move to the search screen. So I hope you have a great day and see you in the next one.